Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my March favourites and this time around I've got beauty, cosmetics, all of that, a few randoms but also some baby favourites or pregnancy favourites and some toddler favourites. Goodbye! <laughs> it's not time to say goodbye yet and some toddler favourites so I will I share those you. with you. So the first thing, so starting with makeup favourites, things that I've been loving this month. The first is a foundation that I've been trying out for the past probably two and a half weeks. And that is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Now when I first put this on my face, having spent about £30 on it, it's not, it's not a cheap foundation. I was kind of taken aback and disappointed. I used a brush to apply it. It kind of went on thick kind of cakey, it settled into my smile lines and those little lines around my eyes which I have a lot of, um, like kind of laughter lines and I just felt like it didn't sit particularly well off my skin. I mean don't get me wrong, the coverage of my pores was absolutely flawless, you could not see one pore but I felt like I said like you know you could see the lines of my laughter lines and around my eyes just was a little bit disappointing. I would also say that the colour that I chose, Ivory Nude, is too light for me. So it wasn't the best first impression. However, what I did is I persevered with it. I also watched a couple of YouTube videos on how to kind of get the right finish with foundation in general. And I find now that I've kind of mastered it. So now what I do is I use a beauty blender and I make sure it's really saturated in water. I keep filling it up, squeezing it out, filling it up, squeezing it out until it's like really kind of grown. To full size and then I squeeze it out really well with a towel so it's just damp and I use that to apply it and that gives a much better finish for me than a brush does. I think a brush gives you a much fuller coverage so if that's what you're looking for then possibly that's the way to go. Um, Beauty Blender shears it out just a little bit because you have that moistness to the sponge um, but it also makes it look so much more natural so it still gives a good medium coverage but it does not settle and cake into those lines and it just looks a lot more natural in my face. I'm really, really, really pleased with the coverage and I think that medium kind of coverage is perfect for what I need. I still use, um, so I still use like concealer on the top of it for like under my eyes, my nose where I've got a scar and then I find that things do sit really well on top of it. I do like to use like a cream blusher just to give a little bit more dewiness because it is quite a matte finish. Um, even with the beauty blender um, so kind of using a little bit of cream products on top and I use a cream highlight as well but it's the one I'm wearing today um, I'm obviously sitting in the conservatory with absolutely natural light it's a beautiful sunny day so you can see exactly what this looks like in real life just now um, and I think it's a good finish I didn't actually put any concealers on I didn't actually use any concealer on my pimples today I just kind of left them I used a little under my eyes as I always do the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat on top of a little bit of the collection on my eyes I used the collection um, light perfect concealer the one I showed you in a recent haul um, and then I used a tiny bit of that on this scar on my nose but that is the only concealer that I used today so this is basically just the foundation and natural light and I'm really really pleased with the finish so moving on to perfume and it's been ages since I found a perfume favourite but this Olympia perfume is absolutely beautiful. Apologies if you can hear a pram going up and down. <laughs> Elena's pushing her baby up and down in the background, aren't you? Jasmine. Jasmine. Jasmine's Jasmine. Oh, Jasmine's not a baby. Jasmine's in the pram and she's a big girl. I'm really, really bad at describing scents but I absolutely recommend if you're in a perfume counter in the coming weeks that you give this a smell it's a really it's quite a strong scent but i don't feel like it's strong once it's on my skin it does last i've got it on today it's quite it's got quite a sweet it, when it settled down it's quite sweet and fresh but i just really really like it and the bottle is absolutely gorgeous next favorite is what i'm wearing on my nails today and i've been wearing this in quite a lot of my videos lately this is the chanel nail polish in the color holiday and i break this out every single spring summer the formulation of this i've said before is not amazing i do find that chanel nail polishes are a little bit um thin formulation they're very very prone to chipping and this needed three coats which for me finding time to put three coats on 
Luckily I did this when Elena was in bed. And then I added sesh feet on top because you definitely need a top coat if you want this to last more than a day. I put this on last night and look at my thumb already. Already chipped and that's with a top coat. So Chanel, please sort out your formulation because I love this color. It's just the perfect coral color, orangey red. So perfect for spring, looks amazing with a tan. I don't have a tan just now, but if I did, it would look even better. Um, but absolute, it's an absolute staple in my spring, summer nail wardrobe. Despite the formulation, it's one that I go back to again and again. My next beauty favorite is something that I actually just picked up fairly recently and showed you in a drugstore haul. So I've only been using it for the past week or so. And it is this, um, what I'm wearing in my lips just now, and this is the Soft Matte Lip Stick. I think it's called the cream lipstick from NYX and it is basically a liquid lipstick. It comes with a doe applicator. Apply it to your lips. It's quite tacky at first and then it dries completely matte. And once this is on, like it's just not going anywhere. I've had this on um, since about, I don't know, nine o'clock this morning and we're now at what, 4 p.m. and it's just not even showed any sign I don't think of coming off at all and I've had my lunch, I've been drinking and um, so really really impressed with these. This is the colour Milan. I also picked up a kind of fuchsia pinky red colour which I can't remember the name of but I will show you in a cutaway now um, and I showed you them in a drugstore haul so like I said I've only been using them for about a week and a half but I'm really impressed with the stain power of these so I'm definitely going to go back and buy a few more shades. I definitely want to pick up a nice nude because if it stays all day, a nude will be absolutely perfect for me on an everyday basis and for work. So now for our pregnancy favourite. Um, my mum got me a kit of the Mum and Me brand. It is a little kit that comes with the bump cream, a body lotion, a shower gel and a bath body cream. It's basically aimed at a pregnant mother. And then you get um, the baby. Then you can get things for the baby. My mum got me the pregnancy set and the main thing I've been using has been the bump butter or bump cream. Uh, it does have a really strong scent and it does kind of have a medical scent which is not the nicest scent in the world but it has a really nice consistency. It's somewhere, it's definitely a cream but it has a bammy texture to it so when you're rubbing it in it kind of leaves like a kind of bammy finish. Um, so I think it's somewhere between a bam and a cream and it sinks really well into my skin. In my Pregnancy Essentials video, I shared with you the Palmer's Oil Cocoa Butter Formula stuff. Cocoa butter, and I ran out of that. Um, so my mum actually got me this, so I decided not to go out and repurchase that straight away and use this up first. And I really like it so far, and I definitely do feel like it is keeping my, stu keeping my stomach n nourished. And at the moment, so far, fingers crossed, not a stretch mark in sight. Moving on to toddler favourites and one of Elena's favourites this month has been this frozen um, nightlight. So it is a nightlight but it's also a projector and it projects like pictures onto the ceiling. Basically it comes with like two reels each of which have I think 10 different pictures. Our other toddler favourite this month has been this little backpack and you can get these in loads of different styles. I've seen them in um, like a ladybug style and a dinosaur style and like a turtle, teenage mutant hero turtle style like backpack but basically this is a backpack with um, uh, reins with reins attached and I find this really useful when um, Elena wants to take her little buggy with her dolls a pram out with us when we go somewhere like in the shops or something she can push her pram she needs both of her hands to do that so she can't hold my hand and this little backpack is perfect because I always keep a change of clothes for her because she's potty trained but you never know when something may happen. Um, I like to keep some snacks in there too. Some snacks and a change of clothes fit in there easily. It's on her back. It has the strap attached. I can put it around my wrist and I know that she can't go anywhere without me being able to catch her quickly. Um, it keeps her safe and like I said it's handy for carrying things around as well. We've had this backpack for absolutely ages. Like I'm sure we got it when she was just a baby. And you've seen, if you've looked, watched my earlier vlogs, like she's worn it since she could basically walk. So still handy now. Toddlers can just run and she's really, really fast. So I like to make sure that I can hold on to her and keep her safe. Final toddler favorite is eBay, which might seem like a really unusual thing to talk about in a favorites video. 
but if you are um buying your child toys and uh, i mean toys like toys can be expensive toys do not have to be expensive but some toys particularly the ones that kids see on adverts or on these like youtube videos online can be super expensive and parents are and parents don't need to be spending a lot of money on toys particularly when they're only going to be played with for so long so ebay has been a really useful resource for me to get some toys that she's been asking for that are either difficult to get a hold of in the uk i've shared the things i got more recently on there and in, in a toys haul so i will link that video down below but any toy that can be easily wiped down with antibacterial wipes or washed in the sink or washed in the washing machine absolutely look to ebay everything so far that i bought off there for her has been immaculate condition just needs a good wipe down for my own peace of mind even though they've come in really good condition anyway um if it's a soft toy i've just stuck it in the washing machine and it's a fraction 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 of the price so i don't feel bad about giving her it when it's not her birthday i've not spent a lot of money on it she can enjoy the new toy and i don't feel guilty so on to random favourites. The first is a candle and I actually picked this up from Primark and I showed you this in a Primark haul like months and months ago, probably last summer. And this is the You're the Pineapple of My Eye candle from Primark. You can hold it in a minute. Um, and I have a few of these dotted around the house. And as we get into the better weather, I started um, burning these around the house and it just makes me feel like summer is coming which I love. Like I mentioned before, I just love the smell of coconut, the smell of anything tropical. And this is somewhere between pineapple and coconut. It's so, let me smell, let me smell it. It's so delicious. So it comes in a tin like, so it comes in a tin like this. And it's, it's a white coloured candle. It says that it's pineapple and ginger. It says that it's pineapple and ginger but I can also smell like it just it smells like a pina colada to me I can maybe smell the hint of ginger like a tiny tiny bit of spice but it smells like a pina colada which to me obviously just makes me think of summer it makes me feel like summer's coming and when we have beautiful sunny days like this then it definitely makes me feel a hundred times better so I've been burning these around the house to get the spirit of summer in the house and just loving them and this one this one only cost £2 from Primark, so if they have them again this summer, I might pick up a few more just to put aside. Because I've got a feeling this is going to be a hit for me again and again, year after year. And my final favourite is one of the things that's sitting right behind me. This is a plant from Ikea, and I just absolutely love bringing plants into the house, real plants. I just think it makes the whole house feel fresher, more natural. It brings a real grounding to the house and I have a bunch of these. I have this one in the conservatory is a kind of palm tree effect which I think is really great for the summer. But we have like a huge is it a fable fig leaf or something like that. I'll try and find the name of it below. Um, I have a couple of other ones that look a little bit like palms but they're not. I think just having a variety of plants around your house in general just makes you feel more, I don't know, like you can breathe better and more alive. They love, I absolutely love having flowers around the house, but unfortunately they don't stay around forever. And now I'm not good at pl keeping plants alive, but ones like this, they're pretty sturdy. Even ask, asking your local um, garden center or your local Ikea for plants that are pretty sturdy and don't need too much taken care of. And those are absolutely the ones to go for. So that brings us to the end of this favorites video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the My Fashion Cupboard Baby channel, we would love you to join our family and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.